guys and welcome back to my five and five series today's episode I'm going to be talking about my must sees when you are only in Vancouver maybe for one day um, this is within 5k's of the city everything is very accessible by the walking or bus um, sometimes SkyTrain but bus is a lot easier and there are buses literally everywhere um, so without further ado I'll pop my time on and we'll get started started alrighty five minutes is counting down so the first place I have within 5k's I've done um, West Georgia Street um, the station there because it's the station you get from um, it's like the main city station so everything is from there and that's yeah the case that I'm talking about is from beginning there if that makes any sense anyway uh, number one, I recommend going to Kitsilano. So Kitsilano Beach is very, very popular. You've got um, the like beach volleyball in the summer, um, sprawling sort of like gardens for picnics and activities. There's the Kitsilano pool, which is really famous. It's been there for a long time. There are beautiful like bars and restaurants like along the beach there. Um, it's very just like a very communal place to go and meet friends very easy to get to by a lot of different bus lines and great place to watch the sunset you can see the mountains um, kits as it's I don't know cold <laughs> like by locals it's just a fun place to be as a Melbourneian it kind of reminds me of like St Kilda Beach Elwood that's the kind of vibe um, and you just have to go over one of the bridges to get to kits um, so that is yeah, 3.5 k's away from downtown and it'll take you like 20 minutes to walk there to half an hour depending on how fast you walk. But yeah, it's a good time. My little kitty's here. Um, and yeah, so Kits is great. Also the um, West 4th shops are great too and that's all within the same area. So Kits Alano is number one. Number two uh, is Granville Island Public Market. So Granville Island is this cute little pocket of shops, restaurants, galleries, there's a theater, and of course the public market. It is government run, so it's very clean, very bougie. Um, uh, it's got everything from like bakeries to macarons to tea to yeah, like delis. Um, yeah, there's a lot going on in the actual market. It's all undercover, which is great for fall, winter, especially in Vancouver because it rains all the time. Um, there's not too much undercover when you're walking around um, the outside, but there are buskers. In summer, it's such a great vibe. Watch your food with seagulls because they're crazy. And you get to look at the cityscape of Vancouver, like you're looking over it. Um, and it's surrounded by False Creek. It's just really pretty. And as I said, galleries, lots of local artists. Um, it's great for just it's a tourist spot so anyway it's a must see even if you are local lots of good stuff going um, and it's very very quiet now due to COVID um, okay two minutes left um, and yeah Granville Island is 4.5 k's away from the West Georgia station uh, yeah one two three so Stanley Park is a given it is the central park of Vancouver it's huge there's a walk called the seawall um, you can get a bus down to like within Stanley Park and start the walk there. It's where the aquarium is. There's a rose garden, the totem poles, um, which is like um, speaks about like you can read there as well about um, the First Nations people and that's what the totem poles represent. And there's a lot of information there at a little booth. Um, you can walk around the whole sea wall. I can't remember how many K's it is. I'll pop it up there. Um, but I like to either split it up, like start at English Bay and do that side or do the totem poles and poles and do that little side there which is on if you're looking at Stanley Park it's to the right is this totem pole so that's what I'm talking about and that one is uh, 2.4 k's from that station so you can just go all the way down West Georgia Street to get to Stanley Park and definitely a must see lots of nature I've seen a coyote there squirrels and it's a good time okay a minute left oh my goodness um, yeah, so 2.7 k's away is my number four, which is English Bay. So the bottom of the West End, English Bay, um, is just, again, an, an, another beach. Doesn't have the same vibe as Kitts Beach. Um, English Bay, a lot more central, very close to Stanley Park. 
um, close to Stanley Park Kitchen Part and there's lots of restaurants on Denman Street. It's at the bottom of the West End, really cool place to meet people. Um, again, great place to see the sunset. An ama amazing place to start a walk and then walk towards, um, like so you're walking past like the West End and you're looking at Granville Island, like that's a sort of geography of that. Um, and yeah, it's just a great place no matter time, what time of the year. Five seconds, oh my goodness. The last one is Gastown. I recommend Gastown. It's less than 1K from the center. You can walk there within five to 10 minutes from Georgia Street, West Georgia Street. And it's amazing, especially at night. It's the oldest part of the city, the steam clock average, but it's a must see to go. The cobble streets, um, just be careful at night because it can be sometimes dodgy, but it is the prettiest at night with all the old school lanterns. Anyway, that's my five must sees for downtown Vancouver. Um, yeah, within five Ks of Vancouver. Uh, let me know if you've been to Vancouver and what um, you love about Vancouver and where you would recommend people to, to go and see. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a big thumbs up if you did like it and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Yeah.